What's up, what's up, what's up, your buddy Mo Damuta. We're back with another video. Today we're watching uh no, I'm playing. Uh Dragon Ball Kakame. Uh, King Shadala versus Vegeta. Go to the trunks find God King and Beerus visits his father. Oh shit, okay, okay. Okay, lot like a lot to unpack in this episode, so we're gonna get into it, man. As we kick off Dragon Ball Kakumi manga chapter Kakumi. number 10 with Beerus being shown having to travel through an interesting looking planet all while seemingly wanting to pay respects and going to a very specific location to where even feeling. Beerus himself had gone in acknowledging this by responding I missed that feeling so as we only then later find out exactly as to where Beerus had gone there appears to be a very specific planet located in between both universe well, 6 and universe 7 to where it only now appears as though someone else seems to be waiting for Beerus and that other individual appears to be none other than Champa as Beerus went on to ask so you came to to where the moment Beerus had gone and sitting right next to Champa as Champa was dressed just like Beerus that's when Champa went on to respond yeah I've been waiting for you for a month you idiot a to where month, interestingly damn. enough more so than anything else in front of them appears to be that of a tomb as to we can only presume that this is none other than a family member as Beerus went on to respond I haven't been here in over a thousand years father how would you have acted in our situation Beerus went on to ask this whole thing gives me headaches it sure means he'd do much better than you beerus says speak for yourself asshole champa responds so this entire situation seems to be centering around two brothers having to pay respects to their father as all the while when then going back to goten and trunks as goten went on to ask Whis, did we make it you slept well it seems trunks went on to add on with Whis responding you are now entering the second stage of your training you must know how to unlock your godly potential it is a necessary step to reach the stage three of your preparation okay. godly key goten and trunks respond good luck we says so all the while as beerus and Chapa are paying tribute to their father it would only now appear as though goten, goten and, and trunks, trunks are going keys. to try That's to crazy. do everything within their own ability skip super saiyan 2 super saiyan 3 all that, that shit that was when Whis had gone and welcoming both goten and trunks well, to pretty a new much they got by responding i welcome the two of you they to they planet lacida here are the two spheres of god key my only advice assimilate them with goten responding well that's all <laughs> Are you kidding? Just us? No, that's right, We says. Assimilate them, after which this step will be closed. It's too slow, Goten says, but here we go. And the moment Goten and Trunks then go on to dash directly towards the spheres, it was only during that point where the spheres were then shown entering their body as haircut. Goten and Trunks respond, it's bearable. Uh, this, or at least they had only then assumed, because with Goten and Trunks then shown having blood come out of their mouth, it would only now appear as though the spherical energies that had just went into their body was just simply too great for both Goten and Trunks to even bear as Whis went on to respond, oh, perhaps I should have warned you. Apart from your fathers, no mortal has survived these fears for several millions of years. It is a miracle that you are both still conscious. As with both Goten and Trunks now seemingly as though struggling to hold the spheres within them, that's when Goten went on to ask, what is this thing? What are we supposed to do? I'll be stronger than my father, Trunks. Trunks shouts, I have to hold on, okay. damn it, so the okay. boys now are trying to do everything within their own ability in holding these spheres within their body and obtaining god key, but the only problem here is outside of Goku and Vegeta, no other mortal was actually able to do this for millions and millions of years, to where by the very end, as Goten and Trunks have gone and falling down into a pool of their own blood, it was only then with the spheres then shown leaving their body when Whis went on to say to himself, have I overestimated? them it was however only one of my spheres less charged in energy with goten responding Whis, when you say assimilate it means to keep this stuff in our body exactly yes we respond with one Trump's of my responding, spheres i'll less be stronger than my father as both of them can't even seemingly now go as far as to even continue it was only during this time in them being shown That's making crazy. our way back into universe 6 where vegeta was shown meditating as the narration went on to come 
Saiyans. During this time in Universe 6, the training between the Saiyans intensifies. The Saiyans face the fields of action and limit their potential discovering thus, for some, unexpected aptitudes. In which as we only see how full powered Broly was then being shown having to be taught by Kale, that was when Kale went on to tell Broly, that's right Broly, you're almost there. As in the meantime with Super Saiyan 2 Kaba being shown faced off against Super Saiyan 3 Caulifla, it was only from that point on where out of nowhere King Sadala had now finally arrived on the battlefield as Vegeta had gone and noticing this by responding, keep going, I'll be right back, he says. Which was indeed oh, now shit. a very important matter because King Sadala had now arrived on the battlefield for a very specific reason, in which as Vegeta had then gone and making his way towards King Sadala and now reaching his location, that's when Vegeta went on to comment, I see that you come more and more often to see the Saiyans in exercise. The next step will be to participate with King Sadala responding, you and your friends will leave this planet at dawn. What? Vegeta asks, with King Sadala responding, I warned you. Guards? As the moment the guards were then shown attacking Vegeta with Man, Vegeta, what, what them robots gonna do to Vegeta? The guards, it was only during this point of engagement as Vegeta was attempting to punch King Sadala, where Vegeta's punch was literally then shown stopped by King Sadala's glare as Vegeta went on to respond, listen. But King Sadala was not willing to listen, so instead what King Sadala oh, does shit. is King Sadala ends up unleashing a ferocious punch to Vegeta in which not only had resulted in Vegeta spitting out blood, but the art itself during this point okay. of engagement was hey, absolutely Vegeta, you astonishing step your game as up, King nigga. Sadala went on to tell him, you who used to teach my people to defend themselves so well, it's pitiful. You are nothing. You and the other traitors to my people. As Broly went on to notice this by asking, what did Vegeta do? As King Sadala was from that point on shown making his way towards the battlefield, Vegeta out of nowhere from that point on in his defensive guard went on to respond by asking, so here's the true face of the pacifist king. Okay. But the king wasn't having it because the moment King Sadala had gone and punching Vegeta into the distance again, Vegeta now was beginning to understand King Sadala's real strength as Vegeta went on to say to himself, he's much stronger than I thought. As we only then notice how King Sadala seemingly looked as though he was about to unleash a gallic gun, gun, Vegeta had then quickly noticed by acting and charging up for a blast of his own, as both King Sadala and Vegeta were shown unleashing both blasts and which had gone in destroying the entire battlefield, it was only during the midst of this where Kaba had gone to notice as well by shouting, gather in the enclosure of this key barrier quickly, in which by the end we see how King Sadala is damaged, base Vegeta is damaged, so Vegeta is now acting in such a way to where he's refusing to leave and not understanding as to what King Sadala was even talking about, as with Vegeta now being shown quickly trying to make his way in kicking Sadala, that's when Sadala had gone and grabbing onto Vegeta's leg by Vegeta having to say to himself, why didn't you ever show up at the two tournaments against us? You should have protected your own. To where the moment Vegeta had gone oh, and breaking away quickly uh, and then got responding a by kicking Sadala with his other leg, King Sadala had seemed as though none of this had even faced him you at got all, a point. with Vegeta asking how. But even then, the fight had quickly resumed, with the king being shown attempting to strike Vegeta, soft, Vegeta was attempting to strike the king, so the battle itself seemed as though it was going back and forth, with Vegeta now understanding that indeed the king was quite powerful, as he also then quickly noticed that King Sadala's left hand was beginning to glow, with Vegeta smiling and responding, he's predictable, his left hand. But unbeknownst to Vegeta, it wasn't King Sadala's left hand that he was willing to use during the course of this engagement, but instead, it was a fake, because instead of striking Vegeta with his left hand, King Sadala had attempted in kneeing Vegeta with Vegeta responding his knee. But once again, this was a fake too, as King Sadala had then quickly gone in striking Vegeta with his right hand, which resulted in Vegeta being shown flying hey, on back looking by cooked, nigga. You better get out there, nigga. Ugh, how proficient, that bastard. But from there, Vegeta was not willing to back down, so instead, he had gone in making his way towards the king, and from there, giving him a knee of his own by striking the king directly in the stomach, which also had seemingly gone to hurt the king that much, in which even the king now was beginning to cough up blood, this was by no means a pacifist-like fight, because with the son of Universe 7's king having to battle against the current king of Universe 6, the fight itself had seemed as though it was a back-and-forth contest until that was when King Sadala had once again gone and firing a blast
asked that Vegeta by responding, never such an effort has been made by me by a Saiyan. You will leave this place by force. But despite now King Sadala you know, making Vegeta his way cookie, on the right? battlefield below, Vegeta, Vegeta holding was back. standing in a heap of rubble as smoke was emanating from his body with Vegeta responding, the fight becomes interesting, but you always restrict your abilities. As he himself had then gone in making his way towards King Sadala, the moment the two had collided in the air by oh, headbutting shit. one another, I it would only now appear as though Vegeta is kind of enjoying this, pit. whereas King Sadala genuinely wants Vegeta and his friends off of his planet. The moment the two had gone in breaking away with King Sadala once again shown firing multiple energy blasts at Vegeta, Vegeta was quickly shown having to avoid all of these blasts in noticing King Sadala directly, so as Vegeta had gone in making his way in and strategically calculating as to when he was going to strike, that was when out of nowhere Vegeta had gone in transforming into a Super Saiyan by shouting, NOW! But it was during this initial transformation where it had gone in scaring King Sadala because the moment King Sadala had seen Vegeta transform, that was when King Sadala had quickly gone to shield his eyes oh, and resulting ass, in nigga. Vegeta having to stop right in front of him because something seemed to have been very off the moment he had gone to transform as Vegeta from that point on had gone to power on down by responding, I think it might be time for you to explain. What makes you hate this form so much even though it's only a tenfold increase in our capacities with King Sadala eerily quiet, the other Saiyans were trying to figure out as to what the heck was going on because nobody really knew as to why King Sadala and Vegeta were fighting as one of the admirals went on to tell the other Saiyans, come on, everyone back to training. Master Vegeta, Kaba says, what are you trying to do? As we only then finally see how King Sadala had come into his own by telling Vegeta, this demonic form with golden hair took over my body for the first time the night Shakiran took the life of our previous king. Oh, but shit. that evil thing took away hundreds of lives of innocent people along with those of my enemies, women, children, even brothers in arms. This burst caused by my transformation made my hatred into an endless rampage. This child carrying his sister's body within the flames still haunts me, Sadala says. I see this in the face of my people, only the manifestation of evil. An accessible form of such hatred cannot be healthy, he adds. You will end up driving everyone crazy. So the reason why King Sadala is afraid of the Super Saiyan form is because there was a point in time where King Sadala had transformed but he had lost control in wiping everybody out in the process as Vegeta from there after having to hear this had gone by responding Kaba has achieved this transformation through a protective devotion to you would a demon team team up with you to protect you with King Sadala responding one cannot be sure who one I like this story I like, really I like how they, they made this that there is nothing more dangerous makes no than a starving that man who do you think you're dealing with here Vegeta transform. asks what makes us who we are can't be reduced to a simple form where made of our acts he says and all too often those of which we are the least proud like of the, the super the saiyan's was. a weapon like any other the keys to use it wisely what is this heavy burden that i see in your eyes sprinkling from the bottom of your soul king sadala asks i have in the past vegeta responds massacred entire peoples for pleasure what did i just tell you king sadala says unfortunately this form has made you crazy. Sooner, no! The Super Saiyan was at the time only a legend whose existence I still doubted, he shouts. For me, all is well, Vegeta responds. It's now up to you to discharge your burden. As with King Sadala now eerily quiet in thinking about okay, this, that's when he went thinking. on to respond, Captain Kaba used to tell me about you. I remember he told me that you were a man who loved his people. So what made you change and become aware of your actions? With Vegeta laughing and responding, I would like to tell you that it's only because of my wife and children, but the truth is I owe it to the encounter of a warrior greater than myself. A few years ago, I understood where true happiness and where true justice resided. The Earth. His planet that I had then attacked became my home and I started my family there. Without him, I wouldn't have been the same today. And it's precisely with each transformation, each time that he surpassed himself, that I admired him more and more in spite of myself, he adds. The Super Saiyan opened my okay. eyes to my friend. Give him a little Kakarot some Goku, respect. In which that's when Vegeta went on to continue. You though. fell to your knees For and you didn't part. know how to get up. But I understand you. I'd probably have acted less wisely than you did in your place, he says. In which as King Sadala was now beginning to understand, in an act of extending 
claiming the olive branch very similarly to that of Goku, Goku, Vegeta was Shadow. shown extending his hand in friendship on over to King Sadala, with King Sadala responding, It's time to really say my goodbye, my brothers. In now having to finally wholeheartedly accept Vegeta as to who he is as a whole, but with all of the other Saiyans now embracing this as well, that was when everyone went on to cheer as the narration went on to tell us, and so while seeing the Saiyans who laughed, King Sadala understood the true value of things. But eerily enough, as all of this was unfolding, something had also seemed to unfold within Universe 14, as we only oh, then shit. begin to see an the angelic staff that? begin to glow with the figure being shown behind it, we quickly then move on over to Universe 0, as the narration went on to inform us by asking to face a threat that they can't even imagine yet. As it was only right then and there during that moment where Dragon Ball Kakumi manga chapter number 10 then comes to a close. Wow. Now, this I dare say was probably one of my favorite chapters yeah, of the year so far, a, and to see Beerus and Champa actually go as far as to seemingly pay respects to their my family neck. members, and to even go as far as to see the developmental growth of Goten and Trunks, and even witnessing King Sadala fight Vegeta, do I think further adds on to the story in terms of build-up, in terms of finally getting the opportunity to see full-powered Broly actually try to maintain his power alongside with Kefla, all of this- That was a fire chapter, man, with the King Sadala and Vegeta. Um, that was a great fight right there, you know, saying make them now they understand each other and you know say he's more open. Uh go to the trunk and that guy key. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna see how, how powerful they can be. And um and, and the Beerus and Chopper, I wanna see their background, what their backstory, you know what I'm saying? So uh I can't wait, man, you know what I'm saying? Check out the last chapter of Dragon Ball Kakume Kakume right here and check <laughs> And check out another What If story or Dragon Ball story right here, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.